How do you become a director of people? Well, in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and find out just that. And my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University. And before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and that way you don't miss any of our future videos on how to become a great HR professional. And in this video, I'll go ahead and walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to becoming a director of people. Now let's first talk about the duties of this position. So a director of people works to ensure a healthy and energetic work environment. They focus on establishing healthy employee relations and encouraging feedback loops. In addition, the director of people offers technical assistance to HR personnel, and they identify employee training and development needs, and then strategize employee training programs. Moreover, the director of people develops employee appreciation, incentives, and compensation programs to boost employee morale. And last but not least, they work to ensure effective communication throughout the department for effective working. Now let's go ahead and jump into the steps on how you can master the skills required to fulfill these duties and become a great director of people. A director of people plans, develops, directs, and leads the human resources department and implements the work policies in an organization. And becoming a director of people demands at least a bachelor's degree, if not a master's degree, in human resources, in business management, or any other relevant field. And fulfilling the qualifications criteria is not just about earning the degree as a piece of paper, but it involves acquiring the basic yet fundamental human resources knowledge that you'll need to secure a director of people role and get your first foot into the HR world. Moreover, to enhance your job application, it's important to specialize with a master's degree or a postgraduate degree in employee relations and performance management. And know that your priority is to beat the competition of other experienced job candidates here. And that's why it's sometimes recommended that you get a master's or a PhD in order to beat out those candidates who are new to the field and have less experience. And after gaining the right qualification, you'll hold a solid grasp of the basics of people management that involves fields like employee satisfaction, HR personnel management, conflict resolution, and employee psychology. And mastering the fundamentals of people management is the most crucial requirement to secure a director of people's job. And as a director of people, you'll handle the community of managers and employees. Both of them are collectively referred to as people. And therefore, you must exhibit strong employee management skills in order to ensure that these people succeed. And the director of people is a diverse and dynamic role. In addition to managing the workforce, well, they also work around employee satisfaction and engagement programs, as mentioned before. And these things include benefits and rewards to boost employee morale. And know that a director of people works as an employee representative. Therefore, you must learn how to establish a positive environment in the organization to ensure a comfortable and healthy space for the working teams. And you need to learn how to guide employees with honest suggestions on their career progression. And as you work on employee satisfaction, you also need to develop retirement plans to help them excel and succeed even after they retire. In short, it's important that you familiarize yourself with how to maintain a good employee experience and how you can assist employees with your strategic planning skills to master the fundamentals for a director of people role. And a director of people is a master of the company's values and culture. And to become one, it's important that you learn how to establish an ethical and varied and inclusive and diverse culture throughout the organization. In addition, you must learn to practice transparency among employees to establish a fair, equitable, and inclusive work environment. And one of your main learning focuses should be to establish good employee communication skills that help you maintain a friendly bond with the people of the organization and increase employee engagement. And on top of that, it's important to understand how to collect and provide feedback to and from employees to understand how they feel about the organization and the work that they do. And this requires excellent surveying, interviewing, and feedback skills. Mastering all these practices will help you enhance employee engagement as a director of people, which leads to maintaining a positive culture throughout the organization. And as a director of people, you are responsible for creating a workplace culture that fosters respect, equality, and inclusion. And to be successful in this role, you must understand and embrace diversity, equity, and inclusion as well. And mastering DEI provides the ability to identify and address biases and discrimination in an organization, and also with how to deal with it effectively. And that means creating policies and procedures that promote fairness and equality for all employees. And a director of people who masters DEI contributes towards developing a workplace culture that attracts and retains diverse talent, leading to a more engaged and productive workforce, and ultimately a more successful organization. And inclusive workplace cultures result in better collaboration and innovation. When employees feel respected and valued, they are more likely to share their unique ideas and perspectives, leading to more creative solutions to problems. And know that mastering diversity, equity, and inclusion is not just about creating a better workplace culture. 
This is also just about doing the right thing. And as a director of people, you ensure that all employees are treated with dignity and respect and no one's self-respect is harmed. And with excellent DEI skills, you create a workplace that is fair, just, and compassionate for employees to freely work and contribute. Therefore, you must master DEI as it leads to a more engaged and productive workforce, a more successful organization overall. And to become a successful director of people, you must also learn the tactics to increase employee morale and satisfaction. And the reason the enhancement of employee contribution towards the organization is necessary is that it helps you increase employee efficiency and productivity. In addition to that, it's important to understand how to recognize the employees for their talent, work, and achievements since a lack of recognition can lead to employee dissatisfaction that can result in things like high turnover rate. And as employee contribution directly affects the organization's productivity, a director of people must hold excellent skills to recognize and appreciate the right talent. In addition to that, it's important you learn how an award and recognition culture works to make employees feel appreciated, valued, and more engaged with their work in order to increase their contribution to the organization. And next, you must learn the five C's to understand how to contribute to employee and work relations. Know that practice is necessary to understand the core learnings. And the first C to learn is to create. This means that you must learn the creation of an employee team that works together to build a brighter future. And next, you must know how to comprehend. A director of people must know the comprehension of past, present, and future challenges for effective risk management. And furthermore, to become an expert in the field, know that you must maintain effective communication through open communication channels. And a director of people is responsible for collaborating with employees to develop a smart and stronger workspace for teams with better productivity. And last, they must know how to confront employees both for their mistakes and good deeds to show them the differences between good and bad outcomes and how they can help avoid possible future challenges and productivity loss. And make sure to practice these five C's by doing consulting work or volunteer work if you're not always able to do it inside your job and that way you can get a good foundation here. And gaining experience in HR and understanding how to work with people is mandatory in order to get selected for this more senior role. And the last step here to becoming a director of people is to hunt for the right role. And you need to look at the different job descriptions and see if you can fulfill them or not and if your qualifications match. And don't be shy to shoot above your weight because you never know what you can land. But always make sure to personalize your application process from your resume to your cover letter to understanding the company's culture and depth and also their business goals. So again, make sure to optimize your application according to each job requirement and its priorities as this will increase your chances of selection for the director of people's job. And there we have it. That's all there is to becoming a director of people for this video. And if you have a better understanding of how to do just that, make sure to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. And that way you don't miss any of our future videos on how to become a great HR professional. And again, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University. And I'll go ahead and see you on some of our other lessons. Cheers.